I'm Peter Galliardo, and I'm the Adaptive Sports Coordinator here at Helen Hayes Hospital. Uh, one of my biggest passions in life is playing video games. So when I saw that the hospital had uh, video game systems set up behind me, I knew I wanted to make it as accessible as possible. And with the help from Able Gamers and their donations, um, we've been able to get people like Rondell playing video games again, who's a quadriplegic playing with the Microsoft Adaptive Controller. Um, the Microsoft Adaptive Controller allows us to hook up buttons that you wouldn't typically find on your standard uh, Xbox 360 controller. Uh, if you have limited hand functions or no hand function, you might not be able to operate this. Uh, by using the controller over here, we can plug in uh, buddy buttons, which are accessible buttons, and attach them to things like goosenecks. Uh, we can also use standard joysticks to replace the analog sticks. So we can find any bit of movement that somebody has and we can turn it into a functional a button press which allows them to play the video games. If you come around the side here, we took the accessible buttons and we added them to a gooseneck system. Uh, at home, you know, having maybe two tables like this and creating a U system will allow you to add more goosenecks so you'd have more spots to connect them. Or depending on your chair and your system, you can maybe always hook them to the back of your wheelchair. Uh, the one benefit though of having a table system is you don't have to constantly connect them and disconnect them. You can be set up and, and roll straight in, ready to play whenever you want. Uh, so with the goosenecks here, you can see with very little movement on both sides of his head, he likes the gap here. We can bring this in as close as we want. Uh, so you don't have to move very much to get the buttons and you don't need your fingertips. So moving just very little bit with your elbow function or you know, for other people, maybe a little bit out flex of the knee, back of the head, there's a lot of options once you uh, use goosenecks and accessible buttons. So the way this is set up, uh, the left side of his head is to pass the ball, the right side of his head is to shoot the ball, uh, and the buttons have multi-functions. So the right side of his head is also uh, steal when he's on defense, and his elbow buttons also block when he's on defense. Uh, this way, you know, we can, we try to use as many buttons repeated as possible because it's hard to find enough uh, spots to, to hook up. Uh, equipment but uh, as you can see you know more goosenecks you add the more function you can add um, you know we can add stuff to this elbow we can add stuff maybe to the back of his head so as games get more complicated and elaborate we can find positions for the buttons because laying them out in front of you is not always the best course of action because uh, maybe reaching uh, or having to press two buttons in rapid uh, succession uh, when you can have everything really close to your tight movements, it, it really allows you to, to play without much barrier. So Rondell, after playing video games here for the last couple of weeks, uh, how do you feel? Great. H how did you think uh, the ease of operation was uh, not using your hands the way you normally would to play? It felt good. I, before, before I thought it was over for me, I wouldn't be able to play games. I wouldn't be able to do this. So I met P and he brought me down here. And it's been great. As you can see, I won by 30 <laughs> points. He's crushing it, he's crushing it. So uh, using your head and your elbow, using the function that you do have, it still felt fast and snappy. And you, you felt like you were playing like it was no different really, I, right? I felt like I was playing a controller, but you know, everything is closer. You get to adjust everything how you want. It felt great. Beautiful, awesome. It felt like I had a controller in my hand. Beautiful. Rondell, pleasure buddy, pleasure. Okay.